they're off. 14 fillies over a mile in the Tattersall's Irish 1000 guineas and up front it's Tuesday Panama Red attended by Concert Hall at Garthers moved up and right with them and the stripes and red cap is Villanova Queen as they race the end of the first furlong. So on settling down it's a Garther leading to the elbow Tuesday in the dark blue, followed by History and Villanova Queen as they come up to the six. Next is Panama Red with Mise en Seine and Concert Hall and Star Girls, Al Mal and Purple Pay and Freedom of Speech and Homeless Songs, two thirds of the way back in these early stages. Then the Chestnut Philly Lullaby, The White Cap, Lady of Inish Free, Last But One and the back marker is Ermana Estrella. It's a Garthus showing just about a length in front of Tuesday, a handy second. On the inside is History disputing third place as they come inside halfway with Villanova Queen, then Concert Hall driven hard is Mise en Seine, then Stargirls, Al Mal and Purple Pain, Homeless Songs is creeping into contention, Lady of Inish Free next on the outside of Panama Red, then Hermana Stray of Freedom of Speech and Lullaby. Two and a half furlongs to go and it's Agartha strongly pressed by Tuesday in the dark blue jacket. Homeless Songs is cruising up to them on the outside of Stargirls, Al Mal as they race to the final furlong and with a sweeping run it's Homeless Songs who's come from the back of the field under Chris Hayes to draw away as they run up towards the finish it's Homeless Songs winning Dermot World a landmark 20th current classic in the Tannis of Irish 1000 guineas wins by a straight from Tuesday Concert Hall star girls Al Mal and on the outside Purple Pay with a guard Dermot Well joins us now after what can only be described as a devastating performance from Homeless Songs in the Tattersall's Irish 1000 Guineas. Dermot, you've been patient, you've waited to unleash this filly after that win in the trial at Leopardstown. How satisfying to see her do that? It's very satisfying. She's very talented. She's got a lot of pace. Um, you know, she's not always the easiest to keep right, but um, we have her and uh, she's very good. How frustrating has it been to have to pass up New Market and then the French Guineas to come here instead, particularly at a time when the yard hasn't been firing on its usual all yeah, cylinders? Look, it has been, but I always had the highest confidence in the filly and I wasn't prepared to run her until I had her right and the conditions right for her. And uh, beautiful ground at the curry here today and uh, she put up the performance I know she's capable of. What was it like for you watching the race because Chris was just oozing confidence from so far out wasn't he? It was only a question this filly of whether she stayed a mile. We know she's probably got this, she, she's got the pace to win a group one level over six furlongs. Would she stay a mile? We didn't know. This was the best place to find out. It was as impressive a win as you could hope to see in a classic I think and it sets up a really exciting remainder of 2022. What sort of targets have you got in mind now? Look, we'll see how she comes out of the race, we'll speak with Eva and uh, obviously the Coronation Royal Ascot has to be considered. And looking further ahead Dermot, I mean is she likely to be around next year or do you think it'll be just a three-year-old campaign? I'd say she's likely to be around next year, you know what I mean? Uh, does not, she's a lo lovely, lovely filly to train and um, no, I'd say there's every chance. What I was so pleased today was the way I got Chris, who gave her an excellent ride, she relaxed beautifully for him. I'm sure Pat Smullen himself would have been proud of the way Chris rode her. He's in everyone's thoughts, I think, at a time like this. Indeed he? he is, and I think today would have been his birthday. And it's um, when I looked at the race card and I saw in the centre a big photograph of Pat winning this same race on night time for my late mother, and uh, equally winning by five lengths. Uh, it was very poignant. That was a great day. This is another great day. And Dermot, hopefully this is going to really kick start things. You know, optimistic, oh, yeah. full of optimism at the moment. Yeah, ahead. look, for the horses, we don't quite have the strongest team. We've much reduced in size by design this year. And some of our form hasn't just been as high as it wants. There's a lot of horses running placed without winning, running well. They all ran well yesterday. And uh, yeah, this is it. But she's the star of the show. And just finally, a word about the reception you received. A very, very popular success this, isn't it? Yeah, it was a wonderful reception. I'm very honoured for the reception that everybody gave me. It's very much appreciated. Jeremy, many congratulations and thanks very much again. Thank you, as always. Cheers.